What up everyone, today I'm going to show you how to sample drums and how to assign those drum samples onto drum pads um, using FL Studio. So the first thing you're going to need is obviously a MIDI keyboard with drum pads. The one I recommend is this one. It is the Akai MPK Mini MK2. Um, I recommend this because it's a great beginner's keyboard. Um, it's really simple and really easy to use and it's a hundred dollars so you don't really need to go waste that much money on a keyboard that you don't really know how to use and this is really easy to use so I really recommend this keyboard um, it has 25 keys it has the drum pads it has this cool joystick for pitch bending it's got these knobs right here um, and yeah it's got different banks for your drum pads so you can assign them lots of different sounds so yeah I recommend this keyboard because of how easy it is to use and the price range. So anyway, let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is to um, open up your sample that you are going to be sampling your drums from. So open up SliceX, which is the plugin that we're going to be using to chop up the sample and to assign them to the pads. So in SliceX, go to this like floppy disk button and click it and then click on load sample. And then go to wherever it is on your computer that you have your sample and then just open it up. So I'll be using Use Me by Bill Withers. It's um a fairly popular, well, kind of. It's a fairly kind of popular drum break. Um, Kendrick used it in Sing About Me, I'm Dying of Thirst. Logic used it in Metropolis and Under Pressure. Since I've sampled this beat so many times, just for practice, I already know where the drum break is. So what you'll need to do is to go on your sample and find where your drums are at. So this is where the drums are for this sample. So let me just play it. So those are the drums that we'll be using. And it's really easy to chop this up. So what I like to do is to put in markers at the beginning and at the end of the drum break and then chop up each individual drum. So to do this, we must first go to our first drum that we'll be sampling. So in this case, since I know this backwards and forwards, I know that the first drum is a kick. So you and me. this kick right here is the first kick. So let's zoom in a little bit more so we can see this better. And this is our first kick. So make sure you start a little bit before the kick actually hits, but not too much so that you have um, too much dead space or that you have a bit of the previous drum or a bit of the previous whatever it was on the song. So about right here is good. And then you're gonna go to this button right here that says add or remove marker and you're just gonna click it. And now you've added a marker at the beginning of the drum sample. So now let's add one to the end of the drum break. So I know that the drum break ends on a snare, and it's this one right here. So once again, make sure you end it so that you get enough of the snare, but not too much of the next drum and not too much dead space. So like around right here is all right. So add another marker. And now you've sampled the drum break. Now all we need to do is to chop up each individual drum so that we can assign them to our drum pads. But first, let's listen to this so we know for sure that this is how we want it to sound. So just right click in the middle of these two markers. And let's loop this. So this sounds a little bit off time wise. Um, it sounds like it starts way too fast. So let's just drag the second marker out a little bit more. And now let's listen to this. So now it's good. Now all we need to do is to chop up each individual drum. And to do this, it's fairly simple. Just So just click at the end of your first drum. In this case, it's a kick. And let's take this off loop and add another marker. And now right click in the middle of the first and second marker and you have your first individual drum. 
So there's our first individual drum. It's a kick. Now all we need to do is to do the same thing for each individual drum. So in this case, the next drum would be a hi-hat. So double click at the end of the hi-hat and then add another marker. And now let's listen to this. And there's your hi-hat. So you have a kick and you have a hi-hat. Now we have another kick. So once again, double click at the end of that drum and then add a marker. Now let's listen to it. And then there's another hi-hat. Once again, double click at the end of that drum, add another marker and then listen to it. And now just do this for the rest of the drums. So in this case, there would be a snare right here, another kick, a hi-hat and the snare. So let me just do this off camera and I'll be back in a little bit. So now we have all our drums individually chopped. So here's our first kick, our first hi-hat. Here's our second kick, our second hi-hat, our first snare, our third kick, our third hi-hat, and our second snare. Now all we need to do is to assign them to our drum pads. So these are the drum pads. These things right here on your keyboard, these are the drum pads. And as you might notice, they're not making any noise whatsoever. And that's because we don't have anything assigned to them. So to do this, we must first open up a plugin called FPC. And FL Studio has drum samples already assigned to these drum pads right here. So for example, if you click this drum pad, there's going to be a side stick. But we don't want that, right? So we need to delete every single sample that is on this pad. So just go up here to delete and just press that until every single sample is gone. Now if you were to click on this drum pad, there's nothing because there's no samples assigned to it. The same goes with all the other pads. The second pad has a kick drum on it. So just delete all these samples and now there's nothing there. So let's just do this for every single drum pad on here. So once you have every single sample deleted from these drum pads, now it's time to assign these drum pads right here onto the drum pads on your keyboard. So to do this, click this down arrow and click map notes for entire bank. Then on your keyboard, you're going to press the, the pads going from the bottom left corner to the right and then from the top left corner to the right. So like this. And now press this bank A B button and then do the exact same thing. Go from the bottom left to the right and then top left to the right. And now you have all these pads assigned to the drum pads on your keyboard. So now all we need to do is to put in the drum samples onto the drum pads. So go back to Slice X and let's drag this over here a little bit. And then select your first drum. In this case, it's a kick. And then go to the farthest button, which says drag copy sample. And then you're going to click and hold and then drag this to the first drum pad on FPC and then let go. And now click on FPC and now if you were to press this first drum pad it would now make a kick. And now all we need to do is to do this for every single drum pad. So this second drum, in this case it's a hi-hat, drag it onto the second from the bottom. And now go back to FPC and now you should have a hi-hat. So do this for every single drum. Drag this third one onto this third one. Drag this fourth drum onto this fourth pad. And then this fifth drum you're going to drag to the top left drum pad. And then so on and so forth. And now just click on FPC and now just press um, each individual drum pad on your keyboard and now they should all be assigned samples. 
and now you can just do whatever you want. You can play the drums like they are on the original sample. Or what you can do is you can rearrange them however you want. Or So yeah, that is how you chop up drums and assign them to your drum pads. It's a pretty easy thing to do once you get the hang of it. So yeah, that is the end of this video. If you like this video, please hit that like button, comment something. Um, if you think there's an easier way to do this, uh, please comment it. I would really like to know. But yeah, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.